Hey guys, Mr. Thompson here with another video for you. This one, uh, doing something a little bit different. I wanted to talk about something that I've seen a couple articles getting posted on social media about and something that I found pretty interesting, something I thought you might find interesting as well. Uh, what it's talking about is what we're going on right now. So we're all you know, at home, staying safe, uh, washing our hands to try to um, prevent further spread of uh, COVID-19. And this has been a pretty unprecedented situation we're all finding ourselves in. We're taking these precautions, but this is stuff that as a social studies teacher, you know, 20 years from now, I'm going to be teaching this time to my students. And if you guys haven't noticed, one of the things that we use quite often to learn about history is we read from the journals of people who actually lived and experienced what it is that we are learning about. Um, I have just a couple examples here, examples that have been used in my own classrooms, examples I've used when I was a student. Uh, the Diary of Anne Frank. If you've read this, it gives you a lot of insight into what it was actually like to be a part of a time in history, such as the Nazi occupation in Germany. And then I have here the journals of Lewis and Clark, so the actual expeditions across America, across this wilderness that uh, people didn't know a whole lot about. I mean, we get a lot of insight as Lewis and Clark made that journey uh, through their journals. And so this article that I've seen cropping up from time to time is talking about, you know, young people today and what they are going through and how their experiences are going to help shape the way we look at this event from a historical standpoint. So in this video, I wanted to encourage you guys to uh, consider journaling, consider grabbing a notebook, opening a blank Word doc, uh, pulling out your phone and starting a video, and journaling what is going on in your life, journaling how you feel, journaling uh, what you're doing with your family, journaling your reaction to the news, your reaction to emails you get from the school district about how we're going to try new remote learning techniques. Um, journal how this is affecting you as a person. Uh, history is all about people. It's all about the people and how they react to situations, how they react to events. Journaling is something pretty big to me. I put here off to the side, this is my collection of journals. These are the journals that I've kept um, basically since I was in junior high. Around junior high, I'd, in fact, my earliest journal right here, I'd take notes every once in a while. I'd write down, you know, thoughts, things I was feeling. I'd put little sketches in there. Um, my journals have uh, song lyrics to songs I've written. They have poems to poems I've written. They hold my reaction to life events, um, to world events. They uh, really help kind of define what my role has been within my sphere throughout my life. I even have my current journal here. Um, the way I usually start it out is some of you are thinking, well, if I want to journal, what is it that I even write? Um, the way I always start my journaling is I put the date. Um, one thing I always find very important is I want to be able to look back at this someday. When I journal, I fully expect no one else to ever read it, so I can be pretty honest. Um, I start out by putting the date. Uh, lately, I try putting down a few things I'm grateful for that day, and then from there, I just kind of I start writing. Sometimes I write how I feel. Sometimes I write about something that happened to me yesterday, a funny story in my classroom. Sometimes I write about something I saw in the news and my reaction to it. So such as this situation here, writing about uh, kind of the uncertainty that I feel, but the gratefulness I have of being surrounded by a loving family, being surrounded by supportive communities. Whatever it is, the amazing thing about journaling is it's up to you of what it looks like. And I know I'm putting this video out because of the historical context that these journals could have in the future. But you know what, just like I said, when I write a journal, I don't write it to anybody. I don't write it for my family. I don't write it for some future generation to read. I don't write it for anyone but myself. I find it therapeutic. I find it a good way to deal with my emotions, to deal with what I go through. I find it a great way to organize my thoughts 
And if this is something that sounds like it might be helpful to you, I encourage you to get those feelings out there. Write down a poem about how you're feeling, write a song, sing a song about how you're feeling, draw a picture that demonstrates what you're feeling inside. All of that is journaling, but I encourage you to put it somewhere where you can keep it, where a few years down the road, you can look back on it and it's going to bring you know, a lot of blessings to your own life, I believe, to be able to reflect, look back, and then who knows, it might help shape the history of how we look at this time in our lives from the future. You may help shape how I teach students 20, 30 years from now about this time in our history. So something to check out. Uh, I encourage you to do some sort of journaling. I challenge you to do some sort of journaling and I really do believe you'll find it rewarding. So a little bit different, but something I've been thinking about, something I wanna share with you guys. So, you know, stay safe out there, stay healthy. Remember that we're here for you. Continue to know that your teachers, your family, your community loves you and that you have those people you can reach out to. Maybe reach out to them digitally, not physically keep that distance, but we are here for you guys. Love you. I'll put another video out a little later, but until then, uh, think about how you're feeling. Think about what's going on in your life and get something journaled.